Recently, I asked if anyone was interested in learning how to make a scarf similar to this beautiful one sold in stores, and it was a resounding yes. This is a perfect project if you have a lot of leftover scraps that you want to use up, or if you've been wanting to learn some new stitches, but you don't want to commit to a large sampler blanket. One really important note here is that this is not an exact replica of the scarf that you see in the photo. The goal of this video is to give you a template so that you can plug and play and create your own unique and beautiful scarf. So I hope you enjoy the video. The scarf that you see in the reference photo measures approximately 10 by 70 inches and consists of various granny squares and rows of different style stitches and stripes. So in today's video, I'm just going to be focusing on the granny squares and then next week we'll dive into the specialty stitches. The scarf in the photo is made with 100% wool. My guess is that it's probably a merino wool, which would account for the cost. It looks beautiful and soft, so that is what I would go to if you're trying to replicate that look. I would look for a very soft merino wool. But for the tutorial today, I'm just using a cotton yarn, a weight four with a four millimeter hook. Our goal here is to stick to that 10 inch width. So with this hook and yarn size, you'll be able to do that. As far as your colors go, I noticed in the scarf, they've used about 10 different colors plus a neutral color. I'm using a color called parchment here, but anything like an off-white, a white, cream, black, any kind of neutral color will help bring it all together. So still using that photo as a guide, it looks like they've used about 15 various granny squares. So in this video, we're going to be working on one big granny square that measures about six by six inches, eight basic squares, which are about three and a half to four inches, and five mitered squares. And the size is going to vary depending on the edging around it, but the beginning size is about three and a half to four inches as well. And finally, we'll also be making one mini square. We're going to be creating the same base for all of the granny squares. And to begin, we'll be doing eight single crochets for that very first round. So you can either begin it with a magic ring or you can do a chain four with a slip stitch. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to add a slip knot to my hook. Chaining four. Adding my slip stitch to form a ring. I'm going to be carrying that tail and then that way when I'm finished I can pull on it to tighten and make the center really nice and tight. So I'm going into the center with a single crochet and seven more. So eight single crochets total. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pulling on the tail, add a slip stitch into the very first stitch that you made, and fasten off. Grab your second color and fasten on however you like best into any of the stitches. Chain two or three to serve as your first double crochet, or you can do a standing double crochet, whichever you prefer. And in the same stitch, add a double crochet. And now we're just going to repeat this all the way around. Two double crochets in every single stitch. This will give you a total of 16 double crochets. Double check that you have 16 double crochets, and if you do, it's time to fasten off. I like to go into the very first stitch that I made. I skip over that chain. That adds the little stitch there right on top of that first chain two or three. And now I'm just going to fasten off. Bring in your next color. 
Fasten on however you like best between any of the double crochets. Chain two or three to serve as your first double crochet. For a typical granny square, we'd usually do a cluster of three double crochets, but I noticed with this pattern for this scarf, they were only using two double crochets. So that's what we're going to do here. So here in the same stitch, add another double crochet. That's going to serve as our very first side. And now we're going to skip over two double crochets to form our first corner. So go in with a double crochet, another, chain two, and then two double crochets into the same space. That's our first corner made. And now we're going to skip two double crochets to work into the next space with two double crochets. Skipping over those two double crochets, create another corner by doing two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets all in the same space. Skipping the two doubles, we're doing another side. So we're doing two double crochets into that space. Skipping two doubles, we're back to a corner. So that's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Skipping the next two double crochets in the next space, we're creating a side, which is just two double crochets. And now we're on our final corner. We're skipping the two double crochets and working two doubles, chain two, two doubles, all in the same space. Now to complete our round, we're going to fasten off. I'm going to go across to the very first stitch that I made, not in the chain. And then that way the stitch will sit on top of that chain. And now it's time to fasten off. Okay, now we're just grabbing our neutral color because we're on our very last round of the square. And we're just going to repeat what we did before in the previous round. We're just going to fasten on on a side Create a standing double crochet or chain two or three to serve as your first double. And in the side, we're just doing another double crochet next to that chain we made to form our first side. Skipping over another side, that's just two double crochets. We're in our corner, so that means we're doing two doubles. Chain two, two doubles. Skipping over to the next space, we're back to a side, two doubles. Skipping over. We're just going to continue this all the way around and now we've reached the end, so we're just going to fasten off. I'm going into the top of the very first stitch that I made. So now we're going to work the second variation of this square, which is the corner granny square. So to begin that, you're going to start the same exact way, repeating the first three rounds. And to do a corner granny square, we're just going to be working on two sides. So we're just going to pick a corner and fasten on. Pick whatever color you like and fasten on into a corner with either a standing double crochet or a chain two, chain three, whatever you like for your double crochets. 
And in that same corner, another double crochet. And now we're just going to go across with our typical two double crochets. So two doubles in the next space, two doubles in the next space, We've reached our corner, so we're just going to repeat our corner sequence. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. We're doing the next side, so we're just continuing on with two doubles into the space. two doubles into the space, and in this next corner we're just doing two double crochets. We're going to chain two and turn, and now we're on the back side, and now within the first space that you see we're just going to repeat what we just did, which is two double crochets. Continue, two doubles, next space, two doubles, in the corner, two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Continuing on on the sides, two doubles, two doubles, two doubles, and to complete that last edge there, just do a double crochet into the top of that very first double that you made. So this is where it gets a little bit like freeform crochet. If you look at the reference photo, you'll notice that they have more double crochets going along the sides of the mitered square. Sometimes it's three sides, sometimes it's all four. But I found as I was putting my scarf together, it wasn't quite fitting the same. Mine was coming out a little bit bigger than theirs. So what I found worked better for me was just doing two sides instead of all three or four. So what I would recommend you do is first make five mitered squares. We know for sure there's five in the scarf. And then when you start piecing it together, then you can decide what you want to do for those extra double crochets. You may even find that instead of doing double crochets around the sides, you might want to just do single crochets just to give a little bit of a border and edge with that neutral color. So this really is a case of doing it as you go, just to make sure that everything fits together nicely for you. And we're just going to fasten on like we've been doing. Here's our square. I'm going to work this side and this side. So just going into a corner, fasten on. I'm chaining two, and now in that same corner area, do a double crochet. Your goal here is to create five or six clusters along the side. You decide which you prefer. If you want to do six, then I would recommend that you do two double crochets into this bar here. If you don't want to add that extra cluster in there, then I'd recommend that you just chain one or two to get across it and then work your two double crochets into that next space. Another way you could have played this is to do three double crochets into that space and then go across. And then just continue over. I just want to show you your different options. Like I said earlier, this is very much like freeform crochet. You're just kind of making it work. No hard and fast rules here. Once you get to the corner, 
two doubles, chain two, two doubles, two doubles in these spaces. And now we're coming back to the double that's on its side and you can play around again and figure out what looks best to you. I'm just going to skip over that and I think I'm going to do three double crochets since that's what I showed you at the beginning of that other side. Otherwise I would just do a chain and then two doubles. Whatever I did on the front side, I'd match on the other side. And if you want to do the three sides like you see on the reference photo, then I would just treat this like a normal corner and then continue on and then finish with two doubles on this side. To make a mini square, just work the first three rounds of the basic square that we made in the beginning. To make the big granny square, it's going to be about six by six inches. You just want to start with your basic granny. So the very first four rounds that we did, one, two, three, four, and then you're ready to continue. Okay, we're going to create single crochets all the way around. So fasten on wherever you like. Two, four, six, eight. We have eight areas that we're doing single crochets, and then we're going to do two singles in the corner with a chain two and then two singles. That'll be our corner. So when we're finished, we'll have 12 stitches on each side. Fasten on however you like best. I'm going to do a standing single crochet. I have a slip knot on my hook. I go into the stitch, pull the yarn through, yarn over, and pull through the loops. And now we're just going to continue on adding a single crochet in each stitch around. In the corner, two singles, chain two, two singles. Continuing around, be really mindful of the very first stitch there. It's so easy to miss because it gets hidden under those stitches and you're, it's really easy to lose count that way. Back to a corner, two singles, chain two, two singles. And we're just going to do this all the way around. And then when you come to the end, just add a slip stitch into the top of the very first single that you made and fasten off. We're coming back to our neutral color for the next two rounds. We're just doing double crochets, so it's essentially a solid granny square now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start in a corner just so it's a little bit neater. I'm just going to fasten on like I normally do. And then we'll be doing two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets for our corners. But I'm going to begin with the first side or the last side I should say. So we'll come back on the other side and add the two double crochets and the chain two. So we'll just continue on with doubles in the top of all the stitches. For this round, you'll see 16 double crochets per side with chain twos in between on the corners. Each round is going up by four per side. Coming to my corner, there's my chain two space, two doubles, chain two, two doubles. And then continuing on. And we're just doing this all the way around. Okay, I'm at my final corner and I'm completing it with my 
two double crochets. And here you can either do a chain two or you can do a half double crochet. A half double crochet is good because then you finish in the center of that corner instead of on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Half double crochet into the first uh, true double crochet I made. And now I'm ready for the next round. I'm just going to chain up two to serve as my first double crochet. And we're just repeating the round we just did. I'm doing another double into the same space. So that's half of that corner completed. And now we're just going to go around doing double crochets. Remember that one right there in the corner, you don't want to miss it. When you're done with this round, you'll have 20 double crochets on each side with a chain two in between. Let's do one more corner together, two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Going to the end here, and just like before, I need to complete that first corner. So I'm adding two double crochets into there, and then I'm doing a half double crochet to complete the round. And that's the big square completed. So that should be a good place to get started. And in the next video, I'll go into the specialty stitches and how we're going to piece everything together. If I've missed something that you need to know to start your squares, be sure to let me know in the comments, but otherwise I'll see you in the next video.